Hi guys, so today I've got a kind of weird haul for you. It's just like a few bits that I've put together from kind of antique stores, car boots and also a garden centre as well. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to kind of class all these bits are because they're kind of like oddities but kind of antiques and some things are just bought new. So I just thought I'd just kind of throw them all together because none of them kind of fit into one overall term. So the first things I'm going to show you are these old witch's boots as they are called. Um, these are from an antique store and um, they're made of real leather and underneath it states that they are made in Italy. The label that came on them stated that they were probably from around 1910, 1920s. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on their history but I just really loved the look of them. Now the label also said that they were a size 5 and I am a size 5 shoe so I was like pretty stoked for the fact that these could fit me. Now I can get my foot into these although it is a little bit of a squeeze because they are so narrow um but these poppers that go down the side unfortunately my calves are slightly too thick to do up and um, i was considering kind of taking these poppers out and lacing them because they are really nice shoes and comfortable shoes to wear as well um but i really don't want to ruin them i think they look so pretty as they are um i didn't actually originally get these to wear i thought they would be quite a nice display piece um, just because they do completely remind me of witch's boots and I do love how pointed they are and everything. And these are really cheap, they were only £10 so I thought that these were definitely a bargain. They were on the kind of sale table. I, I don't think they really appeal to many people just for the fact that they are, are quite hard to fit into. Um, but I kind of looked at them more as a display piece. Um, just because I love kind of like old-fashioned witchy kind of things. So the next thing I got from a car boot sale and I have been looking for a similar item to this for a really really long time and it is just this horn. I believe it's probably off of a ram um, and it's it's pretty raw, it's had no treatment to it, um, it's not kind of on anything, only on any display piece. Um, I've been looking at getting kind of horns on a like piece of wood um, to kind of display on the wall. My boyfriend has a really, really nice one above his bed um, and I really do love kind of taxidermy and kind of things along those lines and I just kind of wanted my own one. Um, I did kind of hope to find them like out because I go on quite a few walks and things like that. I hope to maybe find um, a complete set on a walk um, but I haven't come across anything yet. And this was being sold for £3. I did look through all of them because there was a whole kind of like table of them. And they were basically being sold off because they weren't in pairs. Um, but I really love the kind of colours of this one. I think like it's really pretty compared to some of them which were all the same colour. I felt like this one was really interesting and also it's so twisty. Um, we did have the idea of possibly mounting it on the back of something, possibly this way up and then using it as a coat hook or something along those lines but it's definitely either something that I can use as just a really pretty <laughs> display piece um, or it will just be um, given a function but I really liked this and for £3 I couldn't really turn it down the thing with car boot sales is a lot of the stuff there is just junk it's just rubbish that people have kind of got from their house and possibly could appeal to someone one man's junk is another man's treasure but um, the majority of it is kind of like old clothes, um, they've got like holes in them and kind of like chewed on toys and things like that, things you don't need but I do find it's definitely worth going to them just because you do find a good few antiques and this is one of the things I found which I could not pass up. Now I kept walking past it, um, the thing that finally sold me on it was the fact that it does say bat on it. And if any of you have watched any of my past videos, you'll know that bats are one of my favourite animals. Um, but also, I'd been talking about one of these. Um, my auntie had a similar kind of smaller electric, it was like a modern day one. And I'd been talking about it with my boyfriend and we were saying about how cool it would be if it was like an original piece. And I found this one which was on like an army kind of military store and it is actually an original antique and it's got the original glass inside. On the glass it does say that the glass was made in 1918 so that gives you a little bit of a perspective of how old it is and it's still intact and also right inside of the actual burner it does have a old wick in there which has been burnt 
Um, we had like fiddled around with it and things and it does actually look like we could get it kind of functioning again. It's just whether or not we want to kind of take it apart and possibly break it and it lose its kind of cool old authenticity. But I just really love this piece. Now I saw this sitting on the table, I walked past it probably about 17 times and I just couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to buy it. Um, I was expecting it to be like going on 40, 50, 60 pounds. Um, it's very hard to kind of put a price on things like this. Um, and I went up to the guy and it was all, it was probably about half an hour before the car boot sale like closed completely and everyone had to leave. And he just said, tenner. And I said, I've got eight, eight pound coins. Um, so I got it for eight pound in the end, which is absolutely unbelievable. If you got this from a proper antique store, I can imagine it being a lot higher, probably more like 50, 60 pound, just cause it is in full original condition. There's nothing broken. It looks like it fully works. It's a little bit rusty in some places, but that's expected. Um, but I just thought either make this into a lamp, use it the original way it's meant to be used, or actually just have it as a display piece because it is just so, Cool. I did also think about painting it black. Although most of my decor isn't really this colour, I feel like this piece is definitely a standout piece, so it kind of deserves to be kept in its original state. This next thing I found in a garden centre, it's definitely not an antique, I bought it new, but I thought it was kind of a little bit strange and kind of like oddity-ish, um, and it's this sea urchin. So, it cost me £10, which is pretty expensive just for a plant, but as you may be able to see, I love my little house plants. and the thing is that I am very forgetful when it comes to watering plants and things like that, and cactuses, I don't think I've watered them for like two months and they're still thriving, um, they prefer not to be watered in many cases, and this plant, you actually never have to water it, it gains all that it needs from the air, so you just kind of hang it up, and this kind of plant at the bottom because it's only this bottom bit that is a plant um kind of gets what it needs from the air um you you could probably mist it with water but i don't think it would really matter too much i think it can kind of suck much suck moisture out of the air um but the thing that kind of sold me is this top bit is a sea urchin shell so it's got a shell and then the actual plant is grown from inside the shell outwards and it kind of gives it this like jellyfish, squid, octopus kind of look to it. And I just thought this was a really kind of clever way to give this shell another purpose in life. Whereas like some people would have these on display and things like that. I feel like it almost makes it back into a creature. I do have a kind of taxidermy kind of preserved puffer fish that kind of lives up um in hanging in my window and I thought this would look really cool hanging underneath of it to kind of continue on with the sea theme. Now oh, this next thing is definitely um, not an antique or really an oddity, it's just something that I felt it's not something you come across every day and if you are kind of similar to me in the fact you love kind of enchanted things and fairies and things along those lines I felt like you would probably really appreciate finding out about this. And the company is called Fiddlehead Fairy Garden. And basically I was with um, my friend yesterday, I walked into the garden centre and there in front of me with this whole stand which was laid out like a little fairy village and I probably spent about 25 minutes just kind of crying over the fact that it was so pretty. Um, and you buy all these tiny little houses and you can make a village and it comes with basically miniature things so you can get miniature seats and miniature garden tables. I actually got a little um, book. So this is the book, everything that's in here is online. So you've got all different kind of cottages, there's um, little houses, so I got this one and this one yesterday. Unfortunately this pumpkin one was out of stock but I'm definitely going to be buying it soon. Um, there's like a little gypsy caravan one. Um, you've also got kind of like outhouses, um, little kind of, I think these are called hatches, so I think these kind of look as if they go under the ground. It's really cleverly done as well because it looks, if you look at this one, it looks like there's stairs that kind of go into the tree, but it's just kind of the way it's made. So it's definitely kind of designed to go outside, um, and then you kind of put little bridges and pots and things outside, like the fairy garden. Um, it is meant to be kind of an outside piece, probably more for children, but 
um, at the moment because I'm living at home I can't really decorate my garden outside the way I would if I had my own garden um, but I feel like this is definitely something I would do if I had a garden and get a whole set um, I did really want to buy this it was only £3 but they didn't have any in stock either um, I did try and make one of these out of polymer clay but it didn't quite turn out how I expected it to um, I did also really want to get these little um, gravestones as well, they're kind of like Victorian style. Um, the thing is, a lot of these kind of items that kind of stand up have long sticks coming off of them so that they can kind of be jammed into the ground so that they don't blow away. Because I am kind of displaying mine all on a shelf, which I'll show you in a second, um, there's no way of really me doing that, so I think I'm going to have to kind of hold off with those until I have my own house. Again, there's like some really nice ideas. I did kind of want to get a little ladder or even make a ladder because it looks pretty simple to make just to kind of come off of my shelf. Um, it does kind of give you a range of everything, little ponds, little book, uh, little fairy houses, um, bird houses, gardening utensils. Then you can get these kind of fairy figurines, but I feel like they don't really fit in with the whole kind of look of it. Again, like these little chickens, I don't know about you, but I don't imagine fairies to have tiny little chickens to go along with their tiny little lives. Um, I feel like they would have completely other creatures or even just use insects like bumblebees and things like that. Um, but they are definitely a company that you should check out. They do have an online store and a lot of their stuff is sold on Amazon and eBay as well. So this is the first house that I got and it's meant to look like a gourd. Um, they do have holes underneath for you to put tea lights in. I put the electric tea lights in them, just the ones which um, turn on and off and battery powered, just because I did put a tea light in this one which was from a separate shop and it kind of got really really hot inside and I thought it was probably a bit dangerous. And then going across this is the other one which I think is another type of gourd. Um, again it has the hole underneath for putting the tea light in and it's got a kind of different style to it. Um, the door looks kind of almost like medieval and it has these really nice windows and when you do put a light in it the um, windows all light up um, which is a really nice feature to them. They are painted really nicely and they're made of this almost kind of like ceramic feeling material um, which feels of a really really high quality. The level of detail within these pieces are just unbelievable and I definitely feel like it is 100% worth the price that you're paying and definitely I feel like just having another little pumpkin house there would finish off my collection quite nicely. So thank you so much for watching, I know this video was a little bit of a weird kind of combination of random things but um, I felt like there wasn't enough um, to say about each item for each of them to have kind of a separate video in itself. Um, the fairy houses, I am probably going to do a whole other kind of haul on them at some point during time um, just because I kind of really really want to get loads of more stuff um, I want to get the pumpkin house there's also a teapot house that I really like and a shoe house I really like and I want to get benches and um, wheelbarrows and things like that but at the moment I don't really have enough money to get it all because it does kind of all add up each of the houses are mainly around 20 25 pound the two that I showed you today um, were only £18 and that was from a garden centre that's local to me. Um, I think they may be more closer to the £20 range on the actual website. Please let me know if you do enjoy um, oddity hauls or just kind of collections because I do buy a lot of kind of oddities and antiques and these kind of like weird things um, but I never kind of buy enough in a short enough period of time to make a whole video about them so I do have quite a few items which I've bought kind of over the years which I could kind of all put together to make a kind of longer oddity haul but please do just leave down in the comments if that's the kind of thing that interests so you. So if you've got any questions or comments please do leave them below and I will see you next time. Bye! Um, or it will just be um, given a function but I really liked this and for £3 I couldn't really turn it down. The thing with car boot sales is a lot of the stuff there is just junk. It's just rubbish that people have kind of got from their house and possibly could appeal to someone one man's junk is another man's treasure but um, the majority of it is kind of like old clothes um, they've got like holes in them and kind of like chewed on toys and things like that, things you don't need but I do find it's definitely worth going to them just because you do find 
a good few antiques and this is one of the things I found which I could not pass up. Now I kept walking past it, um, the thing that finally sold me on it was the fact that it does say bat on it. And if any of you have watched any of my past videos you'll know that bats are one of my favourite animals. Um, but also I'd been talking about one of these, um, my auntie had a similar kind of smaller electric, it was like a modern day one, and I'd been talking about it with my boyfriend and we were saying about how cool it would be if it was like an original piece, and I found that it's pretty raw, it's had no treatment to it, um, it's not kind of on anything, on any, any display piece. Um, I've been looking at getting kind of horns on a like piece of wood um, to kind of display on the wall. My boyfriend has a really really nice one above his bed um, and I really do love kind of taxidermy and kind of things along those lines and I just kind of wanted my own one. Um, I did kind of hope to find them like out because I go on quite a few walks and things like that. I hope to maybe find um, a complete set on a walk um, but I haven't come across anything yet and this was being sold for £3. I did look through all of them because there was a whole kind of like table of them and they were basically being sold off because they weren't in pairs um, but I really love the kind of colours of this one I think like it's really pretty compared to some of them which were all the same colour I felt like this one was really interesting and also it's so twisty um, we did have the idea of possibly mounting it on the back of something possibly this way up and then using it as a coat hook or something along those lines but it's definitely either something that I can use as just a really pretty display piece this one which was on like an army kind of military store and it is actually an original antique and it's got the original glass inside on the glass it does say that the glass was made in 1918 so that gives you a little bit of a perspective of how old it is and it's still intact and also right inside of the actual burner it does have a old wick in there which has been burnt um, we had like fiddled around with it and things and it does actually look like we could get it kind of functioning again it's just whether or not we want to kind of take it apart and possibly break it and it lose its kind of cool old authenticity but I just really love this piece. Now I saw this sitting on the table, I walked past it probably about 17 times and I just couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to buy it. Um, I was expecting it to be like going on 40, 50, 60 pounds. Um, it was very hard to kind of put a price on things like this. Um, and I went up to the guy and it was, all, it was probably about half an hour before the car boot sale like, but these poppers that go down the side unfortunately my calves are slightly too thick to do up and I was considering kind of taking these poppers out and lacing them because they are really nice shoes and comfortable shoes to wear as well um, but I really don't want to ruin them I think they look so pretty as they are um, I didn't actually originally get these to wear I thought they would be quite a nice display piece um, just because they do completely remind me of witch's boots and I do love how pointed they are and everything. And these are really cheap, they were only £10 so I thought that these were definitely a bargain. They were on the kind of sale table. I don't think they really appeal to many people just for the fact that they are, are quite hard to fit into um, but I kind of looked at them more as a display piece um, just because I love kind of like old fashioned witchy kind of things. So the next thing I got from a car boot sale and I have been looking for a similar item to this for a really really long time and it is just this horn, I believe it's probably off of a ram um, and it's Hi guys, so today I've got a kind of weird haul for you. It's just like a few bits that I've put together from kind of antique stores, car boot sale and also a garden centre as well. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to kind of class all these bits are because they're kind of like oddities but kind of antiques and some things are just bought new. So I just thought I'd just kind of throw them all together because none of them kind of fit into one overall term. So the first things I'm going to show you are these old witch's boots as they are called. Um, these are from an antique store and um, they're made of real leather and underneath it states that they are made in Italy. The label that came on them stated that they were probably from around 1910-1920s 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure on their history, but I just really loved the look of them. Now, the label also said that they were a size 5, and I am a size 5 shoe, so I was like pretty stoked for the fact that these could fit me. Now, I can get my foot into these, although it is a little bit of a squeeze because they are so narrow. Um, 